Um, the colors that I'm using are, uh, they're all artist quality colors, um, which I would recommend you have as opposed to student quality. Um, if you have student quality, that's fine. You're just gonna have to work a bit harder to get the color out of them. Uh, the artists are much stronger. And I'll tell you what colors it is that I'm using in a moment. And I'm probably going to use these three brushes during the uh, course of this painting. This is a, a squirrel hair floppy brush, um, which uh, is the larger of the brushes I'm using. The other brush I'll use is this one, which is a rigger and gives me fine um, lines and, and I use that quite often on its side. And lastly, I've got a, a, a sort of pointed brush here. I reckon these three are probably going to do me okay for, the, for this painting. Right, um, in the photograph, let me just come back to that a moment. Um, there, there are all sorts of crumbly bits, plaster, which is on the wall, plaster that's obviously fallen off the wall, bits hanging off uh, everywhere. Uh, th there are bricks of different colors, not all of them yellows or reds. They're, they're, if you look around, you get the odd sort of slightly blue one thrown in uh, and so forth. And of course, the, the, the other feature is that there are all sorts of cracks and um, damaged bits to the wall um, here. I'd like to say from the outset that whatever painting you produce, it doesn't have to be an exact replica of this. It, it, this could be something that you respond to. So don't feel that you have to um, do it exactly as this painting. In fact, you, you might find uh, in the, this next uh, bit of the, couple of bits of the painting, that paint will do its own thing. It will go off and do things which is slightly different from what you wanted. And, and use that, you use what, what the paint does to, to make your own doorway. We are, after all, painting light, color, and this patina. We're not necessarily painting this exact doorway. 